The song X-Ray uh, was born here in London um, and it definitely started from uh, Daniel Harl, who was from PC Music, because he knew very well what I want or where I want to go, because we talked about briefly a lot, like what song we should make. And we've been like, yeah, hardcore, hardcore, you know, like, you know, like, da -da -da. I'm very, like, like, a big fan of Gabber. And uh, uh, Danny has also, like, this side of him, you know, hardcore and stuff. And we're like, yeah. And I feel like he knew what I want very well. So I came in and he was like, yo, let's do this. And I'm like, that's perfect. I won't touch it. You know, it's kind of like a shout out. Uh, the it's a shout out to Scatty, uh, and also like a uh, like you know uh, aesthetic. Um, I don't know how you call it. You know, it's like kind of this world. I feel like the song is from that world. You know, from uh, the Ethel song, Blue. You know, Scatman. You know, Scooter. And we can go on, like, you know. I see you with my x ray. I see you with my x ray. Uh, so, the funny story about x ray the day when I had to shoot x ray, well, night before, I mean, it's like 12 o'clock and we start shooting at 6, right? First day. I get a call from uh, one of my team girls and they're saying, we can't use the sample. X-Ray was the first song where we kind of like, uh, where I tried, we tried to get a sample. So it was the uh, first time when we tried and we've been told no, like the final no. So we kind of shot X-Ray with an old sample and Danny like remade the sample and it was like even better than the old one. So that was, that was kind of blessing, because usually first you build the song, it's like that, like if you want to change the sample, it's like kind of changing like a DNA. So yeah, it was very scary at first. I thought like, oh my, can you imagine? You have on set like 50 people, everything is set, cameras, lights, like the hall when we did it, and a couple, a couple hours before, <laughs> you, you can't use the sample, so yeah. <laughs> I am a very nice cult leader. Uh, no, definitely no mass suicides. Uh, just uh, like an improvement in life. I think I would try to teach people to live while Renaissance was kind of, Renaissance art was coming up and all the idea behind Renaissance art, right? Symmetry on the streets like uh, ideology, you know, stuff like that. 